Hey, what's up, you guys? Today we're playing Song of Horror. So, uh, word of warning beforehand, I uh, tried to record this before, a little bit before, but it kept cutting out. Um, hopefully it works this time. This is like my fifth time doing it. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and do the, the prelude. I believe this game is a third-person horror game. So... Do it from a little. I can't see what that says. Alice, Alice in the Wonderland, dude. Some Mad Hatter type stuff. Well, that's spooky. Okay, sheesh. Uh, we recommend using headphones and controller for a more immersive experience. Yep, that is exactly what I'm doing. September 25th, 1998. Oh, I'm almost born. Two more years. Hello. He looks like a Russian dude. Oh jeez, <laughs> the opening sequence scares me already. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Oh, I can move. Okay. Uh, my old flashlight. It saved me more than once in the great outdoors. What is this? Whoa. I plan to spread my sun. Uh, spend my Sunday on this couch listening to jazz. Get jazzy with it. My videotape collection, I've got quite a few western and cop movies. Okay. Can't wait to see the next X-Files ex episode. I've actually never seen any X-Files episodes before. Uh, I should sell the old things once uh, once and for all. Not the greatest pizza I've had, but it's a spot. Touche. I haven't had pizza in such a long time. Uh, damn, close to the curtains again. I'll end up killing these poor plants. <laughs> Me, I had a plant in my room and it's dead. Cause I my like my room is so dark. Uh, I'm not hungry. Plus, I didn't get any groceries for this week. Mm. <laughs> like my dorm, uh, squeaky clean, just like it should be. Sorry, I'm just looking at everything. Uh, some leftover coffee and not my drug of choice on Friday evening. <laughs> <laughs> Oop. Okay, what kind of drugs do you damn man? Oh. Turn on the lights. Shit, I could have sworn I'd look out the trash. I took out the trash. Okay, let's turn off the lights because we don't want to waste the power, you know. Power to Mother Earth. Uh, this way. Yeah, turn that off. Oh, what's that say? Uh, those bring back some really good memories. I'm guessing it's like pictures? Yeah, it's pictures. Oh! Let's, let's go to the bathroom first. Oh, crikey. Seriously? Uh... Okay, I guess we're answering the phone. <laughs> I guess I'm not checking every room. Okay. Hello? Daniel, it's me again. Hey, we've got a bit of a major emergency going on here. Oh, you're joking. Friday evening, and there's an emergency? This is serious business. Sebastian Husher is nowhere to be found, and his manuscript should have been at the office by Tuesday. He won't answer his calls, and he hasn't shown up at his office at the university. He's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't screw with me, Etienne. Call him on Monday, or send a courier for him. I, I just got in the door less than five minutes ago. A courier. I myself, but I've got to attend Albert's performance in half an hour. Plus... Husher's house is closer to your place than it is to mine. Come on, man. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll get back home. You're going to owe me a big fat favor. Whatever you want. <laughs> Write this down. Oh, okay. Abbott Thomas Road. 
in the old housing development along Highway EB-15. EB-15? Good God, that's out in the sticks! I plan to take a few days off after this. Out in the we'll sticks. Talk about that once you find it. Oh, and if he gives you the manuscript, don't show it to anyone. And don't go selling it off to the highest bidder. I'll see what I can do. We'll ring you up when I get back. Thanks, Dan. You're saving my skin. I think he's from the UK. In that accent. Again, another Friday evening and I'm working as an errand boy. I suppose they're too important over at Wake Publishers to come looking for jolly old Husher themselves. Shit. Even I should be too important for that. I mustn't overstretch my complaints. Rising from my lot as a drunkard and financial ruin to that of an errand boy is actually quite an improvement. If only things had gone a bit better for the company, or I'd got on the wagon a bit sooner. Sophie did the right thing when she divorced me. I would have divorced myself in her place. Oh, damn. Daniel Neuer, the bloody alcoholic. Shin up, you. That is Daniel Neuer, the bloody ex alcoholic, after all. Wake Publishers employee by day, Wake Publishers screwed up a lackey by evening. Even Friday evenings. What if I could find Husha? I have a feeling my status at the company would rise quite a bit. After all, he is the publishing firm's biggest star. Let's cross our fingers and hope he's home. Okay, entering a spooky house. A spooky dookie house. Yeah, so it sounds like his accent's from the UK. You know how I know that, guys? I've been watching a, a little bit too much of uh, Love Island. I'm on season three right now. I've watched uh, season one and two. Comment down below if you guys have seen uh, Love Island and what's your favorite uh, season. But like, don't spoil it for me, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. The door is open. That's not good. Ooh, a tricycle. A tricycle. I didn't know Husher had kids. Um, oh, documents. Why take the side door when I can take the main one, right? Can I run in this game? Oh, what is that? Uh, badge of Perseverance. Personal item. Passive. Uh, look closely. Okay, or not. Oh, left triggers to run. Hmm. Newspaper. That murder they arrested about a week ago is from the front page. So he's not here, right? Hello? Hello? Is that music? Fuck I no, baby. We're gonna back up and go home. Uh, okay. Each character has their own light source. Turn it on and off, or off and on. Press right trigger. Uh, once it's on, you choose the direction which you want to point it at. That's cool. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, I'll never run out. Cool. Is that someone playing a music box? Travel guide. Okay, I think I'm not gonna look at everything actually. Maybe it's not that useful. But I'll look at this. Alarm system seems disabled. Much better, it goes off. Uh, yeah. Why is the door open though? Sounds like it's coming from here. Hello, anyone here? Oh, that's creepy. I always thought like animals hanging on the walls were like cool, but they're kind of creepy. They're, they give like the old house like uh, vibes. 
Oh, piano. Let me let me get some bops out. Hmm. Beauty must sound like an angel. Okay, it sounds like it's coming from here. Hello, anyone here? Oh, some fruits. Decorative fruits. So these like these people are pretty wealthy then if Ooh, this mirror. Dirty dirty mirror. Who I feel like who doesn't have a dirty mirror? I don't even know how to clean mirrors. Oh what is this? Um You found an uh, exa examinable item. Inspect it to gain information by pressing a okay. Letter for Husher found by Daniel in the author's mansion. Post stamped on August 1st, 1998. Okay. Uh, dear Sebastian, how are you? To be completely honest, I must admit that we are all impatiently waiting for your last work, lady's work. Uh, my dear friend, I must ask a favor of you. Enclosed with the letter, uh, you will find one of the latest items you have purchased on the, at the store. An ornament music box which fascinates engra uh, fascinating engravings. The craftsmanship is astonishing, but something else has caught my eyes. Or perhaps I should say ear. The melody, Sebastian, it's particular. You have to listen for yourself. I've never heard it, uh, I've never heard the song before, but and my attempts at finding the score or the name of the composer have failed. I can't for the life of me get it out get the melody out of my head i'm pretty bad at reading guys <laughs> uh would you be willing to help me find any clues regarding to this box and its mystery mysterious melody uh i would be forever grateful with the warmest of wishes isaac farber i've also enclosed the little information i managed to find about uh find about said box letter addressed to sebastian p husher 25 about Thomas Road for Interesting. 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 Hello. That's not scary. What the? <laughs> How um, can there be a door there? Oh yo, that's so cool. This is like the trophy room then. I want one of those the little like scuba helmets. Newspaper? Uh, there's stuff lying all over the place. It reminds me of my old college dorm. Yo, I said something about my college dorm. That's weird. Okay. Sketchy door. Let's go in it. That's so loud. Oh. And the door closes by itself. That's great. Hardly taken a step forward when I heard the door close behind me. When I turned around, the door wasn't there anymore. And all that was left of it was a strange shadow on the wall. I searched. I despaired. And I screamed until my throat began to burn. The candles started to run out, as did the batteries in my torch. From within the most suffocating darkness, the hours went by, <laughs> it's, it's flashlight. still turning into days. And I began to fall in and out of a restless sleep. I would hear voices, sometimes right next to me. Oh, no thank you. Times, Turn that off. Two yards away. Seemed like they were coming from the other side of the wall. Desperate cries, howling in horror, and sometimes, the worst of all, a vast, oppressive silence would fall, seeming to emanate from everywhere and nowhere all at once. There was nobody there, just hallucinations. Nightmares, black nothingness, and the song from that music box. Trapped in this impossible place, I wondered if I was going to die there. What? Disappeared. Three days later. 
Etienne, do you have any news on Daniel yet? Oh, Sophie. No. We've been calling him at home all day, but there's no response. Do you know if he's got a mobile phone? No, I don't think so. And if he does, he doesn't tend to keep it on him. Oh, man. I think I should pass by the Husher place when I leave, just to see if they know anything. Husher the writer? Your client? Yeah. I sent Daniel over there on Friday, and I haven't heard from him since. What's the address? I'm going to stop by Daniel's place, and if I don't find him, I can go around and ask about him. The house in the outskirts of town, on Highway EB-15. Number four, Abbott Thomas Road. It's a big house. Okay. I'm headed over. Call me if you find him. Uh, of course. Same to you. Damn, Daniel. My guy's been missing. It's a pretty creepy looking house. I like the entrance though, it's like the little growth. Ooh, what is this? Wait, so I can be different characters? Oh, I wonder if they have like different stories about them? Um, I think we're gonna go with Sophie. Age 40, light source candle. Life has put Sophie to the rest of many times. Uh, okay, you know what? You guys can read that. <laughs> um, but since she said she was going to go to the house, we're going to pick her. The Husher Mansion is a large 19th century colonial house property of the passion B. Husher. So, like, wasn't there a horror movie named Husher? Or Hush? That's what, that's what that reminds me of. The stars are freaky. Wow. Oh. Okay, guys. So this is uh, where I believe part one starts. Um, so if you guys liked it, make sure to, uh, like and subscribe for more if you like this type of content, um, and wait until part two comes out, or technically episode one comes out, because we're watching the prelude. But, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace.